Alright, so let's go ahead and get started with the flawless foundation. Here's a few things that you should know or that you need to do before you apply your makeup. First, you want to use a moisturizer. Well, first you want to clean your face <laughs> and then use a moisturizer. To accomplish a flawless face or a flawless foundation, you need to clean your face. You need to rid the dirt off your face um, from the night before, from earlier in the day before you apply foundation you do not apply foundation on a dirty face or a sweaty face that's not it's not very sanitary so you need to keep your face clean to the best of your ability products that i use to clean my face is um philosophy and i will have all the information down in the description box so i don't have it with me in my hand or remember the name but it's a day and night um product it's uh it's about four products and I also use the Clarisonic Plus um, every week or every two weeks just so you can see how I create my own flawless foundation. This is the way I do it. I just perfect it to how my face looks. So you want to get used to how your face is, the features you really want to stand out. So that is what I do with my face. I'm not really big on... Um, heavy contouring that's not what we're doing right here this is pretty much a timeless kind of makeup and so if you like this kind of makeup just keep watching all right bye okay, so just to get started the first thing that i usually use is milk of magnesia i bought this at um walgreens you can get it at um, walmart and whatnot it's just to mattify your face um it's the best primer that i've used to mattify my face no i have not break broken out or break out so I just put it only in my t-zone area I do not put it all over my face it I do the milk of magnesia I like a dewy finish so I apply the elf makeup mist and set the word is kind of rubbed off but you know this is about three dollars at Target or Walmart so I just spray this in the middle and kind of just miss it just a little bit all over my face just to get it in. I kind of rub it like this. The foundation I use is BH Cosmetics Liquid Foundation. And my shade is D4, which is deep beige. So I just, I'm so glad and so grateful that it has a pump. Well, it knows we need a pump. Just gonna. About four pumps I use all together, maybe more. <laughs> I take the foundation, I ran out of wedges, and I just dab it all over my face, like so. And with the foundation, you want to kind of match your neck. As you can see, it matches my my neck a little bit, or a lot actually. Um, this foundation is awesome, by the way. It gives great coverage. And I'm, I want it to look dewy, but I love a full coverage, especially, I don't like to half things, so I would want it to be full coverage. And you want to just dab, dab, dab this all over. Um, don't miss your neck. <laughs> I do my face in sections, and I'll show you what I mean. So after I get done with the bottom portion, or majority of the bottom, I start to swirl it. You want to make sure you're not missing any skin you don't want to take a picture and a part of your face isn't doesn't have foundation on that just looks stupid now I'm not the type of person that puts concealer on the top of their brows so what I do is instead I like a very natural and timeless makeup so as I'm dabbing I take the edges of the brush and I run it against the the eyebrow the top of the eyebrow and I just go and I just push it downwards and I proceed with the rest of the foundation so you want to blend all the way to the hairline all the way to the hair do not leave a demarcation line that is not natural your skin doesn't leave a line on your face like that your favorite concealer and what I use is LA girl LA girl LA Girl Pro Concealer. Lord, I love this thing. I live by it. It is the HD High Definition Concealer. Warm Honey. 
take a pointed brush like this and you're going to dip some in the corner or the edge of the brush and what you're going to do is you're going to create a triangle almost you're going to start from the corner of your eye because it creates a point and what you you don't want to smooth the concealer you want to kind of dab it in um kind of like a shadow like if you're trying to get the best color payoff you would dab it in instead of sweeping it inside your eye remember you're just going to the point the inner point of your eye and then you're going to drag it over first i just drag it all the way over here because i usually have shadows on and i kind of just line it up real fast and i just blend it forward and i just come down and i stop right here at that point of the nose i don't go any further down and i bring it directly at an angle and i kind of just color in the lines here now remember i just want to give enough highlight i don't want it highlight the entire cheekbone my cheekbone stops right here and if I were to take it down further um, it would just elongate my cheek and I don't want that right here kind of like the end of your ear almost like the base right here I'm gonna use that as a guide we're just going to take what's left on here and kind of sweep it forward at an angle At an angle, so you're going to use the corner of your mouth and the downward area right here of your ear, and we're just going to drag that forward just a little bit. And see that kind of that brings out that contour out. I haven't even contoured yet, just that area out. I'm just going to use some of that right here. Let's see a little right there, just to lighten it up a little bit, because you can see the light is hitting my chin. We're going to take some on the forehead as well. Then with your finger, my middle finger I use, sorry, you're just going to go down the bridge of your nose. Now, you have to be very, very careful because you can crooked your nose, you can make your nose really crooked if you go too fast or if you just don't know what you're doing just make sure it is in the middle and I'm not super highlighting the middle of my nose I'm just defining it just a little bit so you can see something and I go down kind of almost all the way to the tip and I bring it up because your nose just doesn't start right there, you know? Bring it up just a little bit. And I just go back to see if I made it crooked or whatever. And that's all the highlight I need. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the foundation brush that you use and you're going to blend everything together. Now once you're satisfied with the highlight of your face and how you blended it as well, you're going to set your face with CoverGirl um, Translucent Powder in Medium. The, loose, the translucent powder where you place your highlight. So first, I'm going to pat it underneath my eye.
brush and sweep it away. I'm going to use the NYX Stay Matte not, But Not Flat um, Press Powder or Powder Foundation and my color is Chestnut and we're just going to pat this pat all over your face, not scrub, pat. If you were going out, which I'm not, but anyway, I'm going to show you. Just make sure you hit your neck. Take them pictures and your neck shiny and your face is not, it's not cute. I don't do heavy contouring, so I use like a really angled brush in the CoverGirl Queen bronzer called Ebony Bronze. The top of your ear starts, so right here. And if you follow right here, you're going to basically start at an angle. You don't want to go straight across, obviously, that doesn't make sense. So you see this shadow right here? That's basically what I'm heightening, that shadow. To highlight your brow bone, back into your stay matte but not flat. Radiance. It's just a big blush and it's in warm berry. You're going to start from the back and you're going to just swirl your way to the front at an angle. And you're going to stop right at your cheek. Boom. The tip of your cheek. And you're going to go back. And then you're going to go forward. Then you want to heighten the highlights on your face. But what I mean is you want to highlight the top of your brow. Brow. The top of your cheekbone right here. Down the bridge of your nose. A little bit on your forehead. A little bit on your chin. And a little bit on your cheeks. Boom. Yes, yeah, son. Oliver Glow by Ruby Kisses. This is my completed look. What the last thing I would do is just spray with the same things we're using in the beginning, in the middle, and, and that is pretty much it. Thank you guys, so much for watching, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out and follow all of my social media. I will put it in the description box so you can see and whatnot. And tell me what what else would you like to see. Peace.